Welcome back to the channel. It's Mike here. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about getting started with your photography business and some of the things that I've done to build my offline business, my other business from zero to over six figures. And I'm just going to talk about that a little bit. And you can also apply this to photography. This is what I'm doing now. Just basically using my passion, interest, something that I just figured out that I really like to do. And now I want to start a business with that new hobby and just something that I just like and why not use it to make money, use it as a business, use it to improve your lifestyle. So I made a podcast about this too, uh, which is the No Boss Podcast you can find on Spotify. I'll leave that link down below, but just a few tips on getting started with your photography business. First thing you wanna do, most important is you wanna be good at the skill that you have. If it's photography, you have to be good. If it's videography, wedding videography, you have to be good. You have to know your equipment and you don't have to have the best equipment, but you have to be good at using the equipment that you have. This is the A6400. This is what I started with. I shot two weddings and it's a good camera. I mean, it's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. I have a 16 millimeter Sigma on here and that's enough to just get started, but you want to become good at the equipment. I use Adobe Premiere to edit my videos. So you have to be, you know, just proficient at the tools that you have right now. And then you can upgrade. I'm filming on the a7 III, I upgraded to that, but I still like the a64. So the first thing, get good at the equipment that you have. Next, you wanna make a website. You can go to Fiverr, Upwork, maybe a friend that you know can make websites, but make a website and get a Google business listing. When you have the website, the Google business listing, now you're on Google Maps, now you're ranking, you can get reviews, and your search engine optimization will go up. Once you have your website, now from there, have a Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. It depends on what your business model is going to be. Service based, and you can go anywhere, you know, travel places, then yeah, do YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, because you're gonna target people from all over. My offline business, I target people pretty much just around where I live. So it's a little bit different strategy, but it's still, I mean, it's very similar, but it's a little bit just adjusted to more to my community, the keywords and towns in my community. If you're just using your passion, using your interests for photography and trying to build photography, you can travel where you want. You can sell presets, you can sell, you know, like editing courses, video courses. So you can do things like that. So you can target people from all over the world, pretty much. You have your website, your Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all the social media platforms, Facebook. Now from there, you can start running Facebook ads. For me, I use Angie's List, I use Yelp, I use Thumbtack. For videography, photography, you can use Thumbtack. I'm using it right now for my photography business. So I am using Thumbtack, um, Angie's List and Yelp. You can probably use those too, maybe more Yelp than Angie's List, but use all those that you can, especially focus on the free, the free tools when you're just getting started. So we have a free listing for Yelp, a free listing for uh, Google and you know anything that was gonna get people to know that you exist. You have all the social media set up, now get out in your community, let people know that, hey, I'm a photographer, do you need anything done? Do you need a wedding? Do you need an event? Stop in, it, go to places like restaurants and just go in there cold and ask if you can run their Instagram, ask if you can take photos for their, maybe run their TikTok. Stop into these places, these businesses, and say, hey, can I take some photos for you? Hey, can I, is there an event that you're doing? Is there something that I can do for you as a photographer? And then once you start doing that, now you're getting in front of people. Now someone will see your work and say, hey, that was really good, can you do that for me too? First get started in photography, or in any business where it's a service-based business, just start doing work for people. Is it a friend, family, just let them know, hey, I'm a photographer, I can do work for you, I can do video, photography, and then start doing work for them and then posting it. Start, stop at local businesses and take photos of their work or maybe it's a restaurant, take photos of the, the food or the building or something and then send them the photo. They can post it on TikTok, they can tag your name. So there's a lot of ways that you can get out in the community and let people know that, hey, I'm a photographer, I'm ready to work, I wanna help people out, make some money. And once you start doing that, then it snowballs and it's word of mouth. So once you get good word of mouth, then it just snowballs and then you start getting reviews. And when you start getting reviews, the SEO, search engine optimization, Google starts pushing you out, YouTube starts pushing you out. So you get more and more. But when you first start in photography business, you have to put in a lot of work to get the ball rolling. And once it's rolling, once it's snowballing, then you're just gonna get more work coming in 
And from there, you're gonna do something you're very passionate about, have a business, and escape the nine to five. That's what it's all about, is being more free, making more money, escaping the nine to five, and just living the life that you want, and living the life of your passions, things you wanna do. So if you have any questions about that, leave me a comment down below. You can also follow my Instagram, send me a DM. Also check out the podcast, the No Boss Podcast on Spotify, where I talk about business and building a photography business is what I'm doing right now, videography business. So that's what I'm working on. So I talk about that in the podcast. I also talk about my other business and I bring on guests from time to time. So I have different guests talk about their business experience and it's a good podcast So check it out. Leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.